Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about global app update at 12 December 2022 maintenance update. But be notice all content on this global app video was recorded on global app server. So this is all content that will update on our live server in future. And mostly all this update will implement on Korea live server next week maintenance update. And following outside Korea server, if they or the feel this content or the ready to release outside Korea server globally. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle. And also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official website for global app update at 12 December 2022. First feature update that they mention is pre experience for WOSA class. That start after 12 December 2022 maintenance update on global app server. You can try this WOSA class to get some experience to play this WOSA class before they release it on our live server at next maintenance update at 14 December 2022 worldwide. But take notice this pre-experience period for WOSA class only available on global app server start after this 12 December 2022 after this global app server maintenance until 16 December 2022 before next global app update. So if you have official Black Desert account, you also can try this WOSA class on global app server by download special client to connect to this global app server. And take notice after this WOSA class release on our live server after 14 December 2022 maintenance update because WOSA class still didn't release our awakening update, her main weapon attack power become 100% until her awakening release. And after your WOSA class reach level 56, you can start to do succession questline on our live server in future. And if you want to know more detailed information about this WOSA class, you can check my special playlist about Megu and WOSA class that I compile any video that I release about this WOSA class on this special playlist. You can check it all of them. And next feature update about new seasonal content. In future, they will release Winter Season 2022 that expected this Winter Season 2022 will release at the same time with WOSA class at 14 December 2022 maintenance update on our live server worldwide. And still about seasonal content, they just make some improvement for Echo Reef that they just add mass summoning method for this Echo Reef for seasonal character and method to do this mass summoning scroll for this Echo Reef still nearly same like mass summoning method for ancient relic, pillar face scroll, or cartian spell book that you just need to interact with some NPC, ancient faded relic NPC, at location where this Echo of Reef summoned as normal. But take notice level for this Echo Reef, there are only two level, either level 1 and level 3. And for level 1, every party member only need one Reef Echo. And for level 3, every party member need three pieces Reef Echo to do this mass summoning method. And same as before, this Echo Reef only can be summoned on seasonal server only. So by this new method for mass summoning method for Echo Reef for seasonal content, this is will cut your time to use this Echo Reef to get to Vala Enhancement Material for your seasonal character in future that start on this winter season 2022. And next feature update about Monster Zone, in future they will buff Media Monster Zone specially for Sword Guard area. That they will buff special mini boss for the Sword Guard Gladiator by increasing its drop rate for Sword Necklace accessory to become increased 6 times than before. And also drop rate for Forbidden Book, they will increase it to become 3.5 times than before. And if you grinding on Seasonal Server, they will increase drop rate for Season Fragment of Reef to become 4 times than before. And they will reduce variate trash item that you can get from the Sword Guard by removing the Supply Bundle, one of the trash item on this monster zone and because of this they just increase maximum trash item that you can get from this monster to become 3.5 times than before and this trash loot you will guarantee to get it and also they will increase drop rate for special boss kuga if you defeat in this special boss kuga they will change drop item from this monster will not affect it with any kind of loot scroll and also will not reduce your aggress favor point and also its effect but any loot that you can get from this boss will become increased approximately two times than before. And when you defeating this Kunga, they will increase drop rate for this Gladiator Sult Necklace 
to become four times than before, and same as before, they will remove one of this stress item to reduce its variate stress load, but maximum stress load that you can get from this Kunga boss will increase 3.5 times than before, and you can get this stress item by guarantee. And for any other normal monster on the Sult Guard Monster Zone, they will reduce Agri's favor consumption, reduce by 60% compared than before, and also for combat XP, they will increase it 400% compared than before. Meanwhile, skill experience, they will increase it 250% compared than before. But take notice, there are some adjustment for their HP and defense. For any monster HP on this monster zone, will increase 600% compared than before. But any monster defense will reduce 30% compared than before. So I think this Sult Guard monster zone will become more tanky than before because its HP increased 600% percent compared than before and also price for trash loot on this monster zone they will increase it from 4520 silver to become 11050 silver so this trash loot price will become double and more than before and also any other item that you can get from this sult guard monster zone also will be increased like ancient spirit powder forbidden book and season fragment of reef they will increase its drop rate to become 3.5 times than before but for its accessory Sult Gladiator Belt, they will increase it 4 times than before. And any Season 2 Vala or they will increase it 23.2 times than before. And any other item from this monster zone will be increased 2 times than before. And I think for this Season 2 Vala or drop rate, they just increase its drop rate so much. And in future, when this winter season 2022, I will try to grinding on this area to test this increase rate 23.2 times than before for this Tuvala or on seasonal server. And next future update about buff to get guarantee pen accessory from Jetina NPC that they will give double reward from any daily quest from Jetina NPC permanently. That previously, this double reward from any daily quest from Jetina for this guarantee pen accessory they only give this double reward in form of event, but in future, they will implement this double reward permanently, so any new player can get this guarantee pen accessory from Jetina more faster than before. And for more detail this daily quest, especially for life skill, they will increase this burning moon like blackstone powder from 1 pieces to become 2 pieces, and for any daily quest for subjugation monster, will be increased to become double from 2 pieces to become 4 pieces. But take notice, number burning moon like blackstone powder that you need to enhance this guarantee pen accessory enhancement level from Jetina still same as before. So you still can use any guide that I show you from this schematic because number burning moon like blackstone that you require still same as before. They just change number burning moon like blackstone powder that you can get either combat and life skill to become double than before. And for more detailed info guide how to get this guarantee 100% accessory enhancement, you can check on this video that I released long time ago. And next future update, they will change some part of Igor Bartali Adventure Log. And they just make this Igor Bartali Adventure Journal to become more easy than before. Like at Volume 5 Chapter 4, they just change item that you need to consume to become simple crown meal. And at volume 6, chapter 5, they just changed that you previously need to enhance Kali's necklace to become free, to become only borrow contribution box and show it to Fox NPC at Calpion City. And for volume 9, chapter 2, that previously you need to craft Grunil Armor from Armor Workshop, they just changed it to become craft advanced cooking utensil from Tool Workshop. And for volume 10, chapter 1, that previously you need to give 10 pieces golem fragment, and give it to specific NPC at Suri Farm. They will change it to become only defeat mini boss at Hell Monster Zone. And then for volume 10 chapter 3, that previously you need to summon Cartian Spellbook 10 times. And previously to finish this part, you cannot achieve it by do mass summoning method. They just change this mission to become defeat Cartian boss from Cartian Spellbook 5 times only from normal summoning method. And you also can do this method by mass summoning method that they just update it previously. And then for volume 10 chapter 5, that previously you need to equip Asula accessory with pre-enhancement level or higher, they just change it to become you need to finish invitation from iQuest line and just talk to specific NPC in Tarif City. And about this invitation from I, they just mentioning this quest line, invitation from I, actually this is prerequisite quest to unlock Atoraxion quest line. 
that I got you previously on this special video, you can check it for more detail. And then at volume 11 chapter 4, they just change food requirement that you need to eat from Valencian meal to become seafood corn meal. Okay, next feature update about tutorial mode. In future, if you just create new character, if you follow this tutorial mode and didn't skip it, they will add some skill tutorial when you reaching Hysteria Dungeon with Elezra. And by adding this skill tutorial menu, per Abyss hope if you new player, you can learn some new skill for your new character while inside this tutorial mode. And take notice on this tutorial mode, cooldown skill will not apply, but some skills still have some cooldown from this tutorial mode. And next improvement for user interface. In future, they will add new user interface when you getting loot from any kind of world boss. Actually, this is new visual effect, and I personally feel this visual effect looks like Black Desert Mobile. But take notice, if you want to get this loot from this world boss manually, you can receive it by hold click this chest button for 10 seconds, or you also can obtain this loot immediately by clicking this chest icon. And don't worry, if your pet is active, you also can get this loot as normal by using your pet. And for any other update like quest, knowledge, background NPC effect and cutscene, system and any fix and change, I think all of this not to a big deal. Okay, that's all future update info from last Global Lab update at 12 December 2022. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And welcoming new membership, Dead Traki, as gold member. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Killsteel, Wemi, Bebu, Iliana Nico, as gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.